Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Dolby Atmos. So I'm going to show you how to enable it. So there's two ways to actually enable it. The first way is to pull down the notifications. And you will not see it here in the notification panel. So what you have to do is select the little plus sign there and then just look through the available buttons and you will see it here, Dolby Atmos. So select it and drag and drop it anywhere into the section down below and then hit done. Okay, so now when you pull down the notifications, you will see Dolby Atmos. And then if you just long press on it, it will take you into Dolby Atmos. And the second way is to pull down the notifications, go into the settings, and scroll down to sound and vibration sorry about that guys i just scrolled past it so just select sounds and vibration and then scroll down to system no sorry sound quality and effects and you will find dolby atmos in here so experience breakthrough audio for media playback that flows above and around you so just turn it on there's also an option for Dolby Atmos for gaming which um, allows you to get realistic Dolby Atmos sound automatically when playing games okay so if you tap on that option there what I just pressed on so it explains experience breakthrough audio for media playback that flows above and around you. So by default, it's set to auto automatic, auto automatic. So optimize sound automatically for whenever you're listening to either music, movies, or voice calls. So if you select voice, it makes voices louder and clear. If you select music, it makes all your music sound richer, fuller and more balanced. If you select movie, it delivers the best possible audio for films, shows and videos. And if you keep it set to auto, it optimizes sound automatically for whenever you are listening to any one of these. Okay, so we're going to come out of there. Okay, so there's also an equalizer option. And these are the presets. So fresh out of the box, it's going to be set to normal. But there's also an option for pop, classic, jazz, rock. And then if you select custom, there's a custom equalizer here that you can adjust. to your liking so you can have a play around with that and then um, adjust it to the sound quality that the sound quality that you feel happy and comfortable with and then here we have adapt sound so find the best sound for you and then it explains your ears are unique. You may be more sensitive or less sensitive to certain frequencies of sound compared to other people. Your hearing varies with age and may even differ from your left ear to your right ear. Adapt sound gives you perfect sound that's tuned just for your ears. It works whenever you're wearing headphones. So there's adapt sound for media and calls. So you can either select it to only media or only calls, or you can keep it on the default setting, which is media and calls. And 
we have these other options here. So choose a preset that matches your age or try a hearing test to get full, fully personalized sound. So these are the options. So off, no boost, under 30 years old, boost high frequencies, 30 to 60 years old, boost high frequencies, mid frequencies. And then the last one here is over 60 years old, boost all frequencies. And then there's the option to test my hearing. And beside these three, there's a little settings icon. And you can see the graph with the left ear and the right ear. And you can adjust the ear. So if you want to adjust it to the right ear, just select right. And you can also adjust the sound preference to either clear or soft. So I'm just going to keep it on the left ear. So yeah guys, this is how you enable Dolby Atmos for the best sound quality when listening to either music, watching movies or voice calls. Hope this video helped you all out guys. Be sure to give it a like, share the video. It's your boy the Android Doctor and I'm out. See you in the next one guys. Deuces.